Hi everybody, today is Saturday, June 13th, 2020. The time is now 7.54 p.m., 73 Fahrenheit, 23 Celsius. I am in Astoria, Queens on 30th Avenue and 29th Street, and I'm going to be walking on 30th Avenue during sunset. New York City open to phase one on Monday, June 8th. So we'll get to see how Astoria is doing during the reopening of the economy. Salerno Pizza is open. This business has been open for a while now. Happy Garden Chinese food recently reopened. The restaurants and bars are still not taking dine-in service, only takeout or delivery only. With some restaurants opening up later than others. During phase one, the retailers are allowed to reopen as well as construction, manufacturing, and wholesaling. There aren't too many retailers on 30th Avenue, but at least we'll get to see what the uh, restaurants and bars up further ahead are doing. Here's Trade Fair Supermarket, open 24 hours. There isn't a long line like earlier on, like two months ago, but they're still doing social distancing practices and limiting the amount of people inside the store. I remember when a lot of, a lot of people way. were panicking. I remember a lot of people were panicking and lining up a while just to get in and restricting the um, supplies of toilet paper and cleaning supplies. This store, Tasty, Tasty Corner, has been closed for a while now. Don't know which business will reopen here, if at all. I'm on 31st Street, underneath the N and W trains, the subway. So far on this walk alone, I've had two cyclists cut in front of me. You know the economy is starting to reopen when that happens. That also happened on my 5th Avenue walk. It is getting more and more lively on 30th Avenue. Every time I go outside I see more people going out and enjoying. The restaurants and bars aren't supposed to accept dining customers until at least phase three, which is at a minimum about three weeks from now, I'd say. This bank here, you still need a mask to enter and you need to make an appointment before you go in. That's how things are done now in New York City. Sometimes you're allowed to go in, but you need to make appointments and you need to take measures to protect yourself and others from getting sick. Here's the Burger Club, which I have not seen open in a while, but they're requiring face coverings for entry and they have a counter there to place orders. So I'm seeing more restaurants that were closed starting to reopen if not for dining service then for takeout and delivery that's if they're able to anyway not every place can do that workers may not feel safe returning back to work Alinsky fruit and vegetable market still serving the community as well as United Brothers fruit markets two of my favorite grocery stores in Astoria now I'm approaching the strip of 30th Avenue, which has many restaurants and bars. 
once I get past this street, 33rd Street. I think I'll go on the other side of the street just because I don't like walking on the scaffolding and plus there's more sunlight on that side. Sunset is right over there as you can see. But this is the middle of June, folks, and I say it's busier here than on my walk of 42nd Street the other day in Manhattan. The outer boroughs have seen more traffic than the borough of Manhattan, mainly because Manhattan gets a lot of its traffic from people who commute. There aren't as many people living in the central areas of Manhattan, like Midtown, Here's the famous El Rey Del Taco truck. Still serving fresh tacos, burritos, and Mexican food. And Neo Bakery, I see is closed right now. Pochana Thai Kitchen is open. Hey, how's it going? What's up? All right. Yeah, I'm going to go up 30th Avenue now. Take care. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so you see people's moods now, they're lightening up, and it's great to see that I had a follower there greeting me. Great to see the people outside here and enjoying life. Doesn't seem like people are too concerned about coronavirus now for better or for worse. But look at this, folks. People are out here hanging out in front of the restaurants and bars, having a good time. Hey! It's like the fears of social distancing and shyness have gone away. So people out here now enjoying life. Right here you see Dom Dominis. They have counter service and window service. It's like this now in other parts of the city as well. I saw some pictures of the East Village where St. Mark's Place is and there were crowds of people lined on other side, either side of the street eating food, conversing with friends and socializing. And here's the shady lady. In fact, yesterday I saw on the Citizen app there was a report of crowd control needed on 38th Street and 30th Avenue, two blocks from where I am now. And I saw some of the clips on Citizen. It was pretty crazy. They had people out in the middle of the street partying. There was another person who was climbing a tree and doing a little dance. So I really don't know what's going to happen to New York City, but I guess time will tell. The police were called to the scene, but people still continue what they were doing. But this is Saturday night, folks. I have a feeling that many people, they're actually tired of staying at home and they want to go out, enjoy the nice weather, and socialize after being indoors all this time. All right, folks, I see a big crowd up ahead. This is where all the action happened last night, and it seems like it's going to continue today. I think people now, before I would say they have spring fever and now it's like, I would say now it's summer pandemic fever. I would say summer pre-pandemic fever, correction. Look at this folks, people out here enjoying life, crowding outside the Grand. 
Ma Trenta having counter and window service. This is the new normal now. Thirtieth Avenue, Queens, full of life. I've never seen it as busy as it is today during coronavirus, COVID-19. Remember, folks, this is still phase one, and people out here lined up, partying. This is the way it is. Hey. It is like Bourbon Street right now in New Orleans on this block. That's the way it feels. Look at all this traffic. My goodness. I can't believe it, folks. It's like nothing's ever happened. Instead of people crowding inside the restaurants now, they're out here partying, having a good time, bringing it out into the streets. That's exactly how I feel now. Let me get my uh, Anybody? Oh, car coming. Look at this, people bringing out their cars, hanging out on the sidewalk. And where are the police? Nowhere to be seen. As time goes on, I've seen people ease up more and more loosening social distancing rules. There are reports in the news about a second wave coming. Whether or not that's coming or not remains to be seen. Although there have been spikes in Florida, what I heard. Then again, there are a lot of things we still don't understand about this virus, how it is. I really don't think that it is as deadly as many people feared from the beginning. But hopefully we are prepared for, you know, a second wave if it does come to New York City. There's a sunset, folks. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here. If you like this short walk up 30th Avenue during the phase one reopening of the economy, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye. What's going on here? All right, so we end the video with a New York City argument. That's how you really know the economy is reopening. Bye-bye, folks.